to Omodia now, who is also standing by. Omodia, uh, the ranking says Nigeria is the third best team in Africa, but of course uh, the rankings does not qualify for the World Cup. Egwavoin has resigned his appointment. Uh, the coaches have been terminated. Where do we go from here? Okay, I'm told we have Yinka Ludari back now. Um, Yinka, I'm sure you, you, you could hear the question. Where do we go from here after the failure of the Eagles to qualify? Well, what we do is to go back to drawing board if there is no, if there is anyone, because we have always been going back to the drawing board. So what we need to do now is, you know, go back to the drawing board, you know, get a new coach, a coach with fair degree, a coach that has track record, not just any our coach, you know, that understand the philosophy of Nigerian football, African football. Mm. Someone who can work on our players, who understand our players. So that is what we need to do now. All right, Yinka, let's still stay with the FIFA World Cup. The draws will hold later today. I'm sure you've seen the seedings already. Uh, Brazil, of course, are going in there as one of the top seeds. Uh, what would be your expectations for the FIFA World Cup? Uh, do you have a winner in mind already from the seeded teams? Of course, it's most likely that the winner will emerge from the seeded teams if, I mean, if uh, permutation and statistics are anything to go by. Which of those teams do you think would eventually go on to win the World Cup later this year? Uh, but if you are going to look at it, um, you have to look at it uh, from, you know, the, uh, those things that have won it before. You know, things like Brazil, uh, France, or Spain. I think to me, I want to go with the Spanish national team. The Spanish national team ahead of England who made it to the final of the Euros? Uh, well, when you come to this stage, England, you know, when it matters more, they don't, you don't always see them there. You know, to me, I feel that um, our Spanish national team, they still have what it takes to go ahead of, I mean, to go uh, and win it ahead of England. Mm. All right, before I let you go, um, uh, Dari, let's just talk about uh, the new rule by the English Premier League where five substitutions will be allowed from next season. Uh, it's been implemented across Europe, but England had to revert at the beginning of the season to three substitutions. But now they are complying with the rest of the world to adopt the five substitution rule. Do you think this would further give uh, uh, bottom place teams a fighting chance to survive relegation uh, in the Premier League? Exactly, exactly. Because, you know, when it was, you know, three and a lot of, you know, we have seen things that they still have players on, um, you know, on their bench, but, you know, they could not come in because there is, uh, they, they cannot do more than three substitutions. But now that it is five, that means that um, they can have opportunity you know, to do as many substitutions as possible, whether that could bring the change, you know, they need. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us this beautiful Friday morning. Olayin Kauludari, a sport analyst from Lagos, Nigeria.